living donor, um, because the donor is the healthiest of the healthy, um, they don't go through brain death, shock, trauma, whatever causes a person to become a deceased donor. All those factors allow the kidney to already be in a better condition when it's recovered. Perfectly managed operating room, take the kidney out, put it under uh, ice for just a short period, uh, and immediately sew it in. All those factors eliminate the physiologic and uh, other clinical risks of a deceased donor relative to a living donor. Our goal is to get people transplanted as soon as possible, and the way to do it is to have a living donor. Living donors um, uh, probably double the survival of each age group of donors. Um, they function right away, and it's uh, have lower rejection rates. It's just really the way to go if possible. One commonly occurs is that um, a person coming for their transplant evaluation will just bring their family member with them. That's one way to get started. We also bring in patients through our Christiana Care website uh, for transplant in which patients can sign on on their own, look at a living donor screener if they put in their demographics, their medical condition, and get a feel for whether they're a donor or not. Well, a living donor, because the donor is the healthiest of the healthy, when we think about living donation, we think about our family, right? And from a genetic standpoint, that would provide you, uh, you know, the best match from a tissue typing factor. Predominantly, we like to look for blood type compatible. And then there's another factor in transplant called the tissue typing, or HLA. And that is the, um, the factors in our cells that tells the immune system that we are who we are. Years of clinical experience provide world-class care, but just around the corner. And I think people from Delaware are very responsive to the type of care that we give. You may just as well get a phone call from your surgeon as from your coordinator, as from anyone else regarding your clinical care. I think there's a number of patients that probably, without our personal touch, may not have had as prolonged survival of their kidneys. All of our team members really find themselves to be family members, and we look at every patient as a family member, and I think that goes a long way towards making patients do better. When people really care, that's very important.